right, so hi guys. We have this question matrix uh, projector motion. So the question reads shot is fired and top uh, of a hill 90 meters high with a velocity of 80, angle of 30 degrees with horizontal. Find the distance from the point of projection when it hits the ground. Okay, so it's always better to start off with a rough uh, illustration of what is happening. So have this hill, our hill, it's high, level ground, so we have a projection, this point, all the way up to projected something Okay, so what do we do? We know that the angle of projection that it was projected with a certain velocity e its velocity is 80 per second we have a uh, height of the hill height here is uh, 90 meters that's the horizontal that's the vertical distance sorry what we're looking for is range okay so let's break down that 80 into so we have a component here this component is E OS. We have a component in the y axis as well. It's sine. Yeah. All right, so let's start with the uh, vertical. So, in the vertical, what do we have? Using the equation y minus y naught is equals to initial velocity times time plus half e squared. So remember, this thing was projected going up and went down. So the final displacement is zero. Initial displacement, where it was projected was nine. What's the initial velocity? The vertical. So in the vertical, the initial velocity was V sine uh, theta. Our V is 80. So 80 sine theta is 30. This is the velocity multiplied by time. You don't know what the time is. Plus, plus by a minus. Let's take acceleration due to gravity to 10. So say as half 10 t squared. Raising negative because uh, this object is going up. So this gives us negative 90 is equals to sine theta is half, half of 80 is 40, so 40 t minus 5 t squared. So if I rearrange this, this will become 5 t squared is 40 t minus 9, or well, this is equal to 0. I can reduce this. 5 can go into 5 once. 5 can go into 40 times 5 can go in 90 18 times so I've just reduced our equation because remember this is a quadratic equation so let's just pick it up as it is let's solve the quadratic first come back to this so here's our quadratic t is equals to b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Or this is over 2. So t will be negative 8. Plus or minus square root of b squared 64. It's 4. Or a is 1. Or c is negative. So for this is over 2a, 2a is just 2. 10 by 4, get 72, 72 plus 64, 26. So t goes to 8 plus or minus square root of 36. So 10 by 4. So 
all this is over 2. So t is equals to plus or minus. So, so square root of that is uh, 66. 6. 11.66 this is over 2. So uh, t is either 8 minus 11.66 over 2. Or t is 8 plus 66. I agree with you that this won't make sense because time here will be negative and time can be negative. So let's just focus on the second one. So t, let's see what we get. 11, 6, 6, 8. Right. Time. So nine eight second. So we have our time. Three. Let's bring it here. So time. Time is nine point eight three. Now remember, we're looking for range. So horizontal range can be given by the formula x is equals to two t plus half squared. So x is the range that will u is the initial velocity initial velocity success e cos theta so e is 80 cos angle is theta multiplied by time now time we have found time to be 9.8 plus 0 there's no acceleration in success so let's see what we get in the range 80 was the multiplied by time. This is given 800, sorry, 600 point zero four. 600 one point zero four. Yes. So I believe if you use a uh, G to be 9.81. Sure, it's about close to one. So there we have it. That's the horizontal range 